Greetings everybody, I'm Elestis. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to another episode of Europe Universalis 4 playing as the Ottomans. We have finished our war with Russia, where we took some nice lands. Moscow, Tver, Nizhny Novgorod, and Fed Kazan, which is having no problems with his overextension. Well, he kind of hasn't called anything yet, but he's fine. He's fine. Um, we also took Kiva. We took stuff from Russia here. Spear is just a one point miner paying us war reps. A hole, and there must be so much money we're getting. Uh, Spear 0 0.19, ducats a month. Wow, that's actually uh, nothing. <laughs> And we, are, we also took Milan, or the last province that Milan had in Cremona. And we are now at war with Bohemia and whatever Bohemia has as allies, like people. We're apparently at war with Britain and people in general. Nothing too exciting. I'm looking forward to taking this land. We do have a coalition of Spain and some other random person. <clears throat> Who's in a coalition? Spain. Excuse me. And Ulm. Yeah, Ulm has... Uh, Ulm and mighty Spain have decided that together they shall bring an end to our <clears throat> empire. And... Uh, might just declare in Spain because he only got 54,000. He might have some boats. Spain, you have boats? He has eight heavies. Spain has no boats. Which means you. What are you? Transport. Which means you. Random transport, you can die. Means you should go and uh, kind of uh, say hello in the oceans. Well, we have 30,000 troops on our capital. <clears throat> Where is our siege guy? Siege free. Yeah, you go and take care of this. Oh, wow. Okay, so we might as well peace this guy out. He would not. Minus one. Which means he would. Kazan will take care of Birmingham. Uh, gain 25, military power, fine. Not worried really about Modena. Let's just see what he manages, manages to muster as a force here. He wouldn't. Ah! Oh, no! Revolts. Somewhere, which doesn't. Do we have troops here? Yeah, we do. Just take any guy and just go and take care of it. <clears throat> oh, Swedish troops again. Great. So we now have a second fort. We know squishy, squishy, whatever's left. <clears throat> National decline. Diplomatic. I don't really care too much about Diplo anymore. Did I start the timer? Yes, good. <coughs> Excuse me. Siena peaced out of Portugal. Ooh. So we had the last episode of the session and I'll record during the weekend. The last episode. Yeah, the session. I'm talking uh, less loud. Li Quieter than usual because it is the uh, earth, of course. Well, stability, prestige, we'll take the prestige. <laughs> Gain one prestige or zero stability? Well, put that way, yeah. Let's, oh, cancel. Not sure. Let's fabricate on the. Uh, you. <clears throat> and then I think we'll attack the coalition of 
Spain and Ulm <clears throat> before they have a chance, the coalition has a chance to grow. He's I to Great Britain and Brittany, which means nothing we care about. We can just like dump these boats here and block them from doing anything. <clears throat> So, if we attack Spain, means we should probably get these troops and bring them here. Yeah. Probably also means we don't need these 26,000 here. Probably bring them to Europe somewhere. Like you. We want to increase the forts here. We want to increase the forts here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Just slowly build, bring our troops over, squishy, squishy. Splendid, we came, gain a claim on some random place. Um, San Domirez. Memmingen wants out. Uh, no, this is Ravensburg. Okay, let's see. Ravensburg is low because he's occupied by us. Prague, and what else could we take? What's cheap and we have a claim on? Um, might just take this and have a huge coalition's form. So, what we really want to do is, he can take this back, I don't care. But what we want to do is bring these guys over to here. You can go and chill in Kalwinden. France is fabricating on us. Fine. Whatever tickles your fancy. You guys. Okay. It's fine. Not really paying much attention to these pop-ups anymore. 